welcome guys back to another video my name is Shanette and if you're new here and you like my content please to support my channel by clicking the like button also don't forget to subscribe so the next time I drop a video you'll be notified so if you guys are wondering why I have this bag on my ch chair is because um today's the day that I um spend some time with my parrot and he usually likes to perch right here on his chair. Even though he's potty trained, he is 95% potty trained. So sometimes he will, oops, on my chair. So I have to put it back here to protect it. All right, so um, I am doing an unboxing and I'm also gonna be testing out this product that I bought. I bought this, um, since august 5th august september october so yeah it's been two months since i had this let me bring the camera down here and uh, i have not used it or even open it i'm gonna open it now for you guys on the cam let me bring this down and test it out hopefully nothing is wrong with it because then i can't return it because i have it so long and i haven't opened it so this is the best uh, spot clean pro a little green pro so you know they have the other one that's floating around on um on tiktok a cheaper version i did not want that version because I did a lot of reviews on it, watched a lot of reviews on it, and people complain that it leaks, and I, I can't deal with that type of situation. So I bought the purple one instead. So this is what it comes with. Let me turn this around. So it comes with this little um pet pro oxyurine eliminator as you can see this is like a trial sample size and it also has this piece when i was watching reviews on it where you can separate um certain type of mess from the rest i don't know how to explain it but I guess I'll demonstrate and you'll see what I'm talking about. That's this little brush to catch here for the cleaner. And I'm telling you, I have it so long, I forgot. So when I was first watching reviews on it and stuff, I kind of had gotten a hang of it. Like when it comes, I'm going to know what to do right away. But it's been so long. It's almost three months. So... It's like I'm learning all over again. Put it right here. So yeah, so I'm going to actually clean one of my um, wool carpet close to my entrance of my door where they come in the house and they just like to step on it. And I told them, I don't know what, because you can't wear shoes in my house, but when they come right there, they got to take their shoes off. But for some reason, I don't know why people stand right at the little edge of my rug, right there by the door. So, yeah, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna clean right there by the entrance, right there with this. And I guess I'm gonna have to read the manual again because, like I said, I forgot what I'm doing. Okay, I see what happened here. This is attachment right here. So it clips in right here and you just lock it in like that. Okay, cool. And I know this part. Okay. I know this part goes on here. Okay, so I remember now what this is. So say you're cleaning something and um it's something very nasty, like vomit and you don't want to mix it within the rest of the water right here 
you just use this little thing right here just to clean that particular area and it will go in this little cup right here you could just rinse out this cup instead of worrying about rinsing this big thing up so that's what that's for so I'm going to attach these pieces and this is a little wet dry suction and we're going to fill up this bad boy but first I'm going to vacuum the area and then we can do that and then the next thing I have and also I also have a tinical I don't know if you know guys know tinical I have a tinical wet dry mop that I paid 300 and something dollars for and sometimes you know you go to these gadgets I'm sorry guys I'll be yawning sometimes I'm yawning sometimes to get these gadgets they're all fun when you first get them and after a while you're like oh, I'm over it and you just go back to the old manual stuff so yeah I had had this cedar mop before the red one I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I know a lot of people love it but I did not like it and I throw it away it was two years ago throw it out and I've just been using my steam mop and my tinicum um wet dry mop and then I saw that they had a new version and I said you know what let me buy it again just to see so I bought the new version so I'm gonna be using this to mop the floor today instead of my tinico so oh shoot something fell so this is a cedar rinks clean so this is the one where it says you, you're gonna always have clean water to mop so it separates the clean water from the dirty water something fell over here let me get it so yeah so it separates the clean water from the dirty water I guess the clean water will go oh, I'm trying to see where the water oh okay so the water will go inside of here okay all right all right makes sense and then you just so you, you fold the water up in here you put your mop solution whatever you use mr clean pine saw whatever you use and i guess the clean water will be dispense dispensing from right here so you put it up right here to get the clean water and yeah so this is the part where you fold it up and then this is actually the base of it let me show you guys so this is the base what the base look like still has this this press foot press thing the spin dry the mop and oh it also have a little part right here where you can put your broom i know for the, the older version there was no part for you to put your broom for your broom to stand um the stick is it's okay not bad let me see the last one i had that's why i kind of got rid of it too this the thing was um the adjustable stick it just kept sliding down sliding down sliding down when i'm mopping and it was just so annoying so yeah that kind of contribute to why i toss it out too so we're just a jet um attaching these pieces and let's see the mop part so this does not fit um on the old cedar version it doesn't fit so you have to buy new refills if you get um the newer version so this is it it feels very soft i like the way it feels and they did say it's microfiber but i don't know it don't look like microfiber to me but i guess it's because it's the format that it's in 
So, let's see if my mic is on. Because I'm talking very soft. Yeah, so let's snap this on. It's today's, today's clean day for me. And let me see. I'm 5'9. I'm very tall, so let's see. Oh, this one feels. It doesn't feel like I have to bend like the other one. The other one I had to bend. So to me, it's not it's not the tallest, but it's not bad. It's not bad for someone with, that's 5'9". I don't remember the other one being this tall. It probably was, but I don't remember. Maybe because my stick was always sliding down, sliding down. That's probably what the issue was. But yeah. So we're going to test these two things out today and let's see okay so that goes into here like this like that so oh and let me show you guys so when you have this in here you use you can actually um use this like that see and there's a part to actually hold it hold it it's sturdy you see it's sturdy right here when you come in oh there's not so bad but right here they'll be stepping right here so let's back in this little area and test it out to see how it works. And if you don't have a tentacle, um, call us back in, guys. I love this thing. Go get you one. You can't beat this. Very, very powerful suction. And guys, remember when I was telling you that it comes with a little sample version? It actually comes with two, not one. Oh my God, stop. So, yes two so which is even perfect so we're gonna go we're gonna go fill it up oh and i went and got stuff from mop so i got my pine saw i got mr mr clean i got the my stand is shaking i got the um Who sent is this one? Hold on, let me see. Mother said this cleaner. Oh, I got the Unstoppable Fresh. It's right here. Unstoppable Fresh. Let's smell this. It smells all right. It's okay, it's not all that. And I got the, the Febreze. But I can't see the scent. Look at it, guys. It's so muffled. What? I think it says metal rain. I think it says something about metal rain. This muffled is very pale. I can't see it. So. It smells okay. It smells okay. It's not all that. It's just, it's okay. It's not like drop dead. Oh, this one looks like it's. Oh, this one is leaking, guys. Is it? Maybe not. Maybe my counter is just wet. So, this one is the gain, and this is Moonlight Breeze.
this one smells actually better than all of the other ones but it's very light very 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 light so if you're the type of person that doesn't like a, a very heavy scent you would like the gain um moonlight one okay so let's And I'm not gonna be honest, I think maybe the green one, the green version of this one is probably lighter than this one. This one is a little heavyweight. The base is a little heavy, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little weighty. Um, they said the other one was lighter. This, this is, yeah, it's a very heavy portable. So how we fill this up now? I didn't even read the manual. I think this releases it, yep. I'm a type of person, I barely read manual. I just be figuring stuff out on my own. I have a bad habit of that. Very bad habit of doing that. Okay, so this snaps out like this. So I think this is probably where the dirty water will go. And you gotta empty it out. Um, from what part? I'm looking to see where you empty it out from. Hold on. Oh, on the side? I'm looking for an opening. I don't see an opening. Oh, from the bottom here. Oh, that's too much work. And it has a little filter on it inside. So I can show you guys the filter. So when you lift it up right here, you can see the little filter thing right here. So let's lock this in. Let's fill up this bad boy. And let's get all rolling. A light soil. I'm trying to read. So it's line one. Okay, there it is. So two ounces. Yeah. If I fill up right here, I just put two ounces. So I'm gonna fill up with hot water. I'm gonna put two ounces. I got a measuring cup somewhere here. So we're gonna measure it. Um, Okay, right here's the ounce. So this is one ounce. Guys, I'm getting blind. Half a ounce. So I guess two of this. I need two of this. Now my birds are up. Because my daughter just took the cover off of them. So they're going to be making noise. Especially when I'm running this new object. It's probably going to scare them. You know, birds, when they see something new, they get very scared. So they might make a lot of noise. And if they do, I apologize. I'm trying to open this guy. So two ounce, one, two, okay, let's put this back in here, and then we are going to attach this back. I like this. Then the other one that I had before. I'm always throwing away and buying new stuff. A bad habit of that. So we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna 
we're gonna start the process. Let's see if you guys can see. So we're gonna start the process and then I'm gonna show you guys. And my dining room table has a plug right here. So I'm just gonna um, plug it in my dining room table right here and let's see okay so we're gonna turn it on okay guys that's a nice loud guys it is very 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 loud that i must say i want to bring you guys closer so you can see me spray the water and everything it's very very loud that's so i'm going to spray so you can't spray when it's off you can only can spray when it's on guys let's show you guys the result so far and you remember how dirty it was look at it now it's i'm not gonna lie guys i am very impressed i'm loving it i am loving this thing i do the edges too i'm loving it it lifts up the dirt perfectly perfectly guys i love it so i'm gonna work on that off cam because it's so loud and then i'm gonna test out the new the new um the new mop that i got it's, um so see the amount that I got and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on that as well so just let me go work on this off cam and I'll be right back oh this is my little um entryway scented shelf where I keep all my scent my diffuser and my um 
dip it cute and bait and i know i told you i've shown you guys in the previous videos that i have the jumble on just jumble that i keep in my room i use that one for my room spray and this one is just for out the entryway and the living room so i'll be back guys once i'm done and i'll let you know no and I'm, i'll come back and do the mopping and let you know my answer you're but so far for this um portable um shampoo i am very 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 impressed very impressed with it it's in my cup it was very dirty right here by the entrance and it has done an awesome job so i'll be right back so guys so i'm finished with this little walkway area i just did the whole lining of it where they walk and i am very impressed and it does a very excellent job of sucking back out the water look at it guys excellent job i got the flash on so you guys could see remember when i showed you guys right here how dirty right here was excellent and it sucks the water out very well so it's just damp it's not like soaking wet very impressed i'm glad i got this version and guys huh yeah just look how dirty this is look at this and i don't wear shoes in my house we don't wear shoes but i'm telling you right by this entry right here where they come in they like to step on this little edge i don't know why and they do it when i'm not home because i can't do it when i'm here the kids does it but look look how dirty it was guys just look at this water and i still one tank full tank was enough to do the whole entire line and still <laughs> and i still have a little bit of water remained in in there i don't have any leak issues which is good but guys just look how dirty that was and guys it was very very easy to empty i just turned this upside down this little black thing right here in the back just slide down and it empties right through these two holes right here very easy very easy see nice and clean so i'm just gonna sweep my floor in my room and then we're gonna start the map why is it so dark it's dark in here I feel like a change of lighting. So guys, I'm filling it up in the bathtub. I wonder how full it is. It takes a little while to full. So maybe it does hold a, little, a good amount of water. More than what I thought. So, I think that should be good because I'm only doing my room. Oh, guys, let me show you. Look at this little cute thing that I got from Timu. So, like an umbrella to hang stuff, and I just hang these little things on here. This is plastic, so you don't want to hang nothing too heavy on it. So, yeah, I like it. So, I'm going to put my solution. I'm going to bring my room down and put my solution in it so guys i'm back now it's done the mapping so we're gonna use the pine saw and we're gonna use the mr clean the breeze um let me take a see by the window what scent is this oh it said meadows and rain is my mic on? Yes, my God. So it says meadows and rain. So that's what it is. I can actually see it by the light and in the window. Because y'all know I'm blind. I wear contacts. But I don't always have them in. So we're going to fill up a little hole right here. Okay, let me bring you down. Bring this down with you guys. So you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're going to fill up a little hole right here. I'm not going to do any measuring. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's a good amount of water in here. 
So I don't see how it should run out quick, like everybody's saying. We'll see. Okay. I can see the water right in here. It's in the base. Because I was wondering where the water was keeping. It's right in the baseline of it right here. And it looks like it's a, it looks like it's a good amount of water. I mean, if you, unless you got a big house. Oh my God, I'm spilling. Okay. So that's that. Unless you have a big house that you got to mop a whole lot of square feet, then I don't see nothing is wrong with, you know, changing the water once or twice. Somebody speak. up now let me see it oh so once it fills up it stops automatically so it gives you okay so it gives you the amount of water that it, it wants to give you and then it stops automatically so I guess that way it controls the water level and not give you too much so you run out of water too quick Okay, which is that's cool that's a cool feature so let's start the muffin I'm gonna just finish a little bit dry so I can get this nice water right here mixed with chemical okay just enough to get you the mop wet then you wring it out a little bit I don't want mine to be too dry because I like when mine is a little soppy, that way I can mop real good. I'm telling you, pine saw with Mrs. C Mr. Clean. Oh my God, you can't beat that, guys. It smells really good. Phoenix, what is the matter with you? Hmm? I'm gonna let you out soon. We're gonna spend time together, don't worry, okay? So, as you guys know that the dirty water does not mix with the clean water, which is very, very good. So now I'm gonna spin this out. And then we're gonna get some more clean water up in here. So it's filling up. I like it. I feel like many people are running out of water fast because they're not filling it up to the top the way how I fill it up to the top. Okay. So shut that off. Don't need that much water. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest off cam and I'll be right back with my finest honest review. Okay, 
one of the complaints that I see people complain about is that the map is smaller. The real version is smaller than the older version. It doesn't make any big difference to me. It's still not perfectly fine. Um, you just don't realize it. You don't realize the size is different unless you put them together and compare them together. Not good. So I don't have no complaint about that as far as the mop head is smaller than the original, the, the first version. It's, just, it's still an awesome mop. It's an awesome job and you don't really feel the difference with mop heads. So guys, I'm back. My chair is in the way. And so I'm going to give my honest review. So I don't know if you guys know what double dipping is. Double dipping. You're definitely going to double dip with this um, new version. Even though it's a great, great invention. I love it. I would buy this over the old version any day. You know, and it's, I love it because, I mean, the mop, to me, it mops smoother than the first version. The mop is so smooth. Smooth. That's a smooth, smooth. Love it. So... Let me demonstrate for you guys. Let me go down a little bit lower so you guys can see what I'm trying to explain. So, yes. So, from time to time, when you release the, the fresh water and you go mop and you come back, there's always going to be a little bit of water settling in right here in the bottom, as you can see right here. And if you dip the dirty mop in it, of course, it's going to turn into dirty water. So what I do is I just dip the mop in it. I take it all out. Get the mop all wet, saturated. I take it all out, spin it out. Spin it out. That's only if you have an excessive amount of water in here. You know, I get it out. And of course, if you are like me, all trying to figure out ways to do stuff, then you're going to have the patience to do what I'm doing. If not, you're not going to really care. So I'm spinning it all out because I don't want to double dip. You know what I'm saying? So whenever I have water in here, I spin it out because I don't want to double dip. And I suck it all out. And look. As you can see, there's no more water in there. I emptied out completely, and then wait, let me do this again. Oh my god! And then once I empty out completely, then I release this, release this, and fill it out. But there's no more water in there, so you won't see what I'm saying. But once I empty it out, I release the button to add more water in it. So that way I can always have clean water and not clean water mixed with dirty water, if you understand what I'm saying. I was able to, so I do see what people say when they say that um, it runs out of water, cause I was able to fill it up three times, three times and then I ran out of water. So that's not bad. Cause to be honest with you, I did, most of my apartment has like air rugs, like big, big air rugs. So it's only my bedroom and my kids room have an air rug. As you can see, the kids room is not that big. So it wasn't bad. So the most part of the house that doesn't have like air rugs is my room, which is the biggest space, you know, without air rug. So the dining room the living room, the living room i don't have to vacuum it's a whole big carpet there whole big cream carpet dining room is a big carpet there just have a little space around the edge like i showed you guys when i was doing the, the um the shampooing so i have to just mop around the edge of the kitchen and so forth i don't use the same mop and mop my bathroom that i used to mop my house i always have something different to clean my bathroom that's just how i operate um so yeah so i have my spray mop that i use to clean my bathroom separate from my whole house and that was it i was i was able to um to get clean clean water i think three times which is not bad and this is the dirty water right here see it's dirty 
so I, 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 lo I love this mop. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was very impressed with it, with the, you know, with the whole idea, you know, of it. And I don't have any complaints. Apart from, you know, you're gonna double dip. Maybe that's why my water finished so quick. Cause I was emptying it out, sucking it out and spitting it out because I didn't want to double dip. All right, so I'm just gonna wrap it up for this um, video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Click that like button, guys. Click that like button. All right, I love y'all. Until next time, peace. I just want to